there. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to add some color to it. So we're going to do the same thing that we've done before. Um, I'm going to start by giving it a full screen of a color underneath. So I'm going to make a new screen here, new layer here, and I'm just going to pick any color. You pick it. I'm going to pick red for the moment just because I want to show you what it looks like because I find this distracting. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to what this, which is the paint bucket tool. Um, it may come up as the gradient tool, but it's the paint bucket tool. And I'm going to make a red and then I'm going to just drag it underneath. So now you see what this actually looks like. Ooh, I want to clean that up a little bit. I'm just going to see something I don't like. So again, you know, you're going to find yourself going back and forth and cleaning up. So I'm going to clean this up just a little bit. I think that's a little too white there. And even though I'm not on the masking layers, I'm going to be a little bit more careful. And a little tighter. There we go. All right. So you can see through to the red. Now we're going to colorize the images themselves. So we're going to do exactly what we did with working in um, working with a railroad. We're going to pick colors. I'm going to make that. And I'm going to make a big, I'm on a new layer, right? And I'm going to go here. I'm going to make a big color. And I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to colorize. A little softer, colorize different sections of this to look differently. And I won't, and I'm not going to be, I'm going to be crazy, a little bit crazy here with the colors because it's sort of Andy Warhol ish. You get a little crazy with color. Let's see, we'll make that puppy blue. And I'll make my hair pink. And you don't have to be too accurate with this. And I'll make my skin tone, skin tone of Blue. And again, I am just playing around. Um, I'm going to have to make the food slightly different color because it's food. So I'm going to make that orange. Now I've just set myself a bunch of different colors on this new layer. And then I'm going to use darken and see if I like it. Now I may decide that I want to change these colors up a bit. I'm going to do a little bit more work on it and get back to it, you. But you'll see where I'm going with this.